Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of important things. Um, I'm going to talk about the buoy. So I've gotten a lot of, it's been a lot of debate over the years for a very long time, actually over the decades, past decades, that Selena allegedly had butt implants um, primarily done by the alleged affair that she had with the Dr. Martinez, which I believe was totally false. If you haven't checked out my video when I talked about um, the alleged affair with the doctor, check it out. I did it a couple of years ago. So, yeah, check that out. But we're not going to get into that. Um, we're going to get into fake booty. So, I looked up... The, I um went on... And it wasn't Spotify. I think it was Apple. Um, some app in Apple where you can like look at, listen to different podcasts. Um, and I was watching, well, listening to this girl, um, Anything for Selena. I think that's the name of her podcast. And she talks about different topics about Selena. And one topic she was talking about was um booty like big booties in the hispanic community primarily in the mexican um community because she i think she's mexican american and it was very it's very prominent in the mexican community amongst women where their um body shape are really curvy and they're known for the big booty um, and she also talked about different celebrities, um, that, you know, are known for their booties. Um, and she talked about that, you know, African-American women and Hispanic women were known for big butts and the new, and, and, um, she talked about Kim Kardashian being, you know, a white woman who is known for her big booty. Now, there it has been um, rumors that her butt is not real, allegedly, but she tried, she clarified the rumors when she did that episode on Keeping Up With The Kardashians oh, some years ago, where she went to the doctors and got a butt x-ray and it was no sign of silicone in her butt. Now, that doesn't really, back then I thought, okay, well, maybe they is real, but that doesn't mean that it was still, you know, real because she could have got a BBW, not BBW, BBL, I think, something like that, where they transfer fat from one area to another. And so maybe they transfer fat from one area of her body on on Kim Kardashian and put it in her butt so it can you know, give a replica of a real booty. I mean, but it could be real, but you also got to look at genetics. You got to look at, also got to look at, you know, the family line. Now, I never was one of the ones that said that Kim Kardashian had a fake booty. I thought her booty was real, you know, in the beginning, um, because it was plus, it was like, pleasantly portioned and it looked real and I mean her mom is not a skinny person and most of her sisters were you know had a little bit of cushion in their backside but then over the years like recent years her her backside has become really enormously big to the point where it didn't portion with her legs so I'm, I, in my opinion, I think now she, it seems like her butt is not real, but I could be mistaken. Um, but for, you know, she also, the girl also talked about JLo, 
you know, and how she was a perfect fit for Selena, playing Selena because of her, you know, her curves were similar to Selena. And this was from Suzette Quintanilla was saying, um, had said that about, you know, J-Lo and other people in the camp have said that. Um, now, I don't know if I talked about this. I think I talked about this in, a, in another video that I did with, uh, that I compared the two in the video. But yes, um, Selena and J-Lo are very curvy Hispanic women, but in different ways. Now, J-Lo is curvy and she does have a big butt, but her butt is shaped different than Selena's. Her butt is more wide. Selena protrudes out. So it's like, yes, J-Lo has a big butt for her stature, but she, it, but it, because her, she has wide hips, it gives the illusion that she has a big, bigger butt, but really it's not, it's not as big as Selena's and it's not that, that big because she, her, she's more wide. And she gets that from her mom. Her mom has a wide hips. Now, Selena, on the other hand, she has thick thighs. And she has her butt protrudes out versus her butt being wide. She doesn't have wide hips. She has a narrow, narrow hips, but is, you know, pleasantly portioned. But her butt sticks out more. It's more is more curvy and more it sticks out more and her thighs are really thick and she gets that from her mother because I've seen you know pictures of her mom you know or even videos of her and her mom and her mom is short and stocky stocky you know on the bottom on the bottom half and 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 then there's pitch a lot of pictures of Selena where you know because television can make a person look taller than what they really are, but Selena in real life is actually not tall. She's actually short for her for a woman. She's I think she's five four or something in that area, but she's five four five five something like that. But she's not tall. But in but in on TV she looks very tall, and I thought she was tall, but she's not. And she has really thick, she's really thick on the bottom half. Like she's a pear shape. Pear shaped bodies are they they gain their weight from the waist down versus the waist up. Apple shaped bodies gain their weight from the waist up. I have an apple shaped body, meaning if I was to gain weight, all of my weight will go above my waist versus below my waist. And my one of my friends is a pear shape. All of her weight goes from her bottom half. So if she were to gain a lot of weight, you will see it in her butt. Like she has a huge butt. So you will see it in her butt and her thighs. And that's primarily, and maybe her ankles. Um, And that's how, you know, Selena's body is portioned. And that's also how Beyonce's body is portioned. Beyonce has a big butt as well. And it, when she gains weight, it mainly goes to her lower half. Now she does have some, it does go to her arms sometimes. Like when she gains weight, it, you can tell by her arms that she's put some weight on her, but you know, she also has thick, thick thighs and she used to be, um, self-conscious about her thighs because she talked about it in an interview years ago that people called her thighs. They said her thighs, people said that her thighs look like sausages or whatever. Um, so she was self-conscious about that, but she and Selena has similar thighs when it comes to the size and stuff. So, um, you have to look at it that way, but do I believe Selena, but is big, I mean, but is real. Yes. Her butt is real. If you look at, if you go back and look at some of her photos when she started out in the 80s when she was a teenager you can tell that you mean she was still developing but you can tell that the weight is mainly in her lower half she still she her thighs were thickening up her behind was thickening up and her face was a little thicker but that's about it 
most of her weight goes in those areas. And she's always had problems in that area. Because also, that's what the girl was talking about on the podcast that Selena, you know, was very self-conscious about her hips and her thighs. And primarily it happened when I think they got locked out of the, the bus or something. Something happened with the bus. And I think they got locked out. And they needed somebody, and that, and there was a window near the um next to the steering wheel that is that was cracked open, and they needed somebody small enough to go through the window to I guess to retrieve the keys or something. So Selena volunteered to do it, but I think her father said that she wouldn't be able to go through, of course, because she has a big butt and it wouldn't go through that small hole. But she thought she can do it because she has a slim waist. So she, when she made the attempt to do it, she got stuck in between her butt. She couldn't get through. And so she cried and was very self-conscious about her weight or about her, her, her looks when it came to her lower half because she was embarrassed. So, you know, and so she's always been self-conscious about her lower half. And, um, so yeah, she, the butt is real. You can tell it's very evenly portioned and she's always had that type of weight on her ever since she was a teen. Now there were, there are people out there that made videos about her, her so-called allegedly butt, um, implants stating, um, showing of pictures of when she was skinnier than, you know, her later years. There, there is a specific performance where she had the guitar earrings, um, and she had on a leather jacket and some leather pants. That was when she was at her skinniest. She was actually sick during that or recovering from being sick during that performance. That's why she looks so skinny because she didn't couldn't keep anything down. I, I don't know if she had the flu. I think she had the flu and I know she had bronchitis. So she was just getting over it um, when she had did that performance. So that's why she lost a lot of weight because she wasn't keeping food down. So that's information for your behind. Hence. So that's why she was really skinny, but they always using that picture or that performance and comparing it to all the other pictures that she has. Now she, her weight was going up and down because she was also trying to lose weight to fit in her gown that she had, um, that she was wearing for the Grammys. And that's another reason why she was losing weight. So some pictures, may, um, she looked smaller than others. But then she gained her weight right back when she did the um, No Make It A Moss video. She wore the same gown that she wore to the Grammys. And she even said it in the video, in the behind the scene footage, that she had um, gained weight. Um, in the um, gained weight. So her her gown didn't fit as, you know perfect as it did when she went to the Grammys. But the girl's butt is real. It's real. It's real. Oye, ¿te inventaron algún chisme en 94? ¿Inventaron algún rumor? Sí. Inventaron, bueno, muchos rumores. Uno que mis pompis no eran de verdad. ¿Sí? Sí, son de verdad. Tócalos. Uy, son de verdad. No sabría, no. Sí, son. Now, you can tell by, you know, fake butts because I will post some pictures of you know fake butts it will has it will have like little dents in it you can see the silhouette of the well not, I don't know if that's the right word to use but you can kind of see the outline of the silicone on a on a you know a butt cheek you know from like look at Nicki Minaj look at Lil Kim look at you know, um, what is her name? Um, China, Black China, etc. Look at those girls and you can tell the difference. When their butt is not aligned with their legs, meaning when their legs are skinny or, you know, smaller than their behind, 
more than likely that's not real. Uh, or if it looks like it has a di like you're wearing a diaper, it's not real. Um, so yeah, stop with the booty shaming on her. It's real. Leave it like it, people act like a person can't have an almost perfect body because nobody's perfect. So I'm not going to say perfect body, but people just be acting like nobody can have a almost perfect body. And her, her body was almost perfect. It's, it wasn't perfect, but it was almost perfect because I mean, she was very evenly portioned. She she had almost like a Coke bottle body. I would say the almost only, I would say it's in my opinion, there are like three women that I feel like has an almost perfect body. And, and, and ironically, they all from Texas and that's Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce, and Selena, period. So yeah, enough with the body shaming on her. It's not fair. It's not right. Cause she's not here to defend herself. So just leave it alone. Let it be what it is. Except the fact that she had a big butt and it was real period. So I had, I was trying to find the interview which I found, so that will be included in the video. Um, that I found, I was scrolling down and I found, um, a, what is it called? Um, not a reading, but when they do the voice box to, you know, locate spirits and stuff. And I came across one person, one YouTuber that did one on selena two months ago i don't remember the name but i will have it in the video but he i, I watched the majority of the video and it, he basically asked questions about her family you know um her fans where she's located is she here da, 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 and also about yolanda so here's a clip of what she said in reference to Yolanda. Selena, did you have an argument with Yolanda before your passing? Yes. Why were you arguing with Yolanda? Something. Yolanda says. So I really felt like that was interesting that um, when he asked her, why were they arguing? She said they were fighting about her, the dictator. And it was stating that allegedly that she said that he kissed her. Now, it's funny how that was said, if that was really true. Because I did also did a video about what if the dictator and Yolanda had some type of affair or some type of something going on. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. Um, but it was my opinion. And it was, you know, a hypothetical scenario. But, but if what that, that voice box was real then that's ironic. That's, that's weird that she said that. And I, I at parts, y'all check out that, that whole video. Cause there were a lot of parts in that video where I really thought that that was Selena's voice because I did hear the laugh and you know, she has a contagious laugh. And then when she said the word and I heard her accent, it sound so clear and it sound just like her. There were times where you know, certain answers that she was saying didn't make sense. And I was like, is that really her? And made me question. But for the most part, it sounded like her. And I really don't, you know, believe in stuff like that. But I try to keep an open mind on things. But yeah, I'll check that out. I will have the name, his name and all that in the video. And y'all get back to me on how y'all feel about it. But that's all I have for now. But yeah, I just want to give my you know, opinion about 
the butt thing and also what I witnessed on the voice box thing. But I will get back with you with another video. And also, if you want to check out the podcast, um, I will have her, I think her, I will have, it will be her, her picture or, or um, profile will be in the video somewhere. So just check it out. And I will also, you know, post up where to find these podcasts at. All right, peace.